Hey guys, welcome back to our Bugs Bunny and Taz Let's Play. Today we're starting the Viking era. <laughs> Gold! Stop, big noble duck! Don't you know that no one shall touch the legendary hammer of Thor? Sorry, Thor. I'll just, um, slowly back away from the hammer. Hey, wait a minute! You're a shrimp! Let me at that hammer! I'm Elmer Fuddinson, guardian of the Hammer of Thor, and I order you to turn back! Oh, yeah? You and what army, then? For the last time, I say stop! Put that down, you... trespassing duck, you! Trespassing duck? Is that the best you can come up with? <laughs> Lightning. Funny. It doesn't feel like rain. Yes, just because he's small doesn't... Just because Elmer Fudd is small doesn't mean you shouldn't trifle with him. Daffy. Viking era. I gotta say, this world also that thing reminds me of Squidward's house. SpongeBob. I gotta say, I do like the Viking era quite a bit, especially the music. And like it has been, I don't remember it all that much. You're doing a very good job. You're right on track. At this rate, I'll rapidly repair the time regulator. It's now time for you to learn a new useful combo called the Throw Bugs Action. I don't think I like the sound of that. Tez, if you place yourself close to Bugs, you can lift him over your head and walk around with him. You can also throw Bugs. This is helpful when you have to cross a broken bridge, for example. Try it. You'll absolutely need to perform this combo to catch that gear. That gear, you missed that text. I did that on purpose. I want you guys to have the most time possible to read stuff. You know, just in case. Oops, still don't have that down path. There was a mnemonic I remembered, I learned in the last episode of this. I don't remember what it is, so. Derp. Well, that happens. Be. Oh, we both died. Lost a lie from that. The game is wanting you to do this. Like, you've got to learn how to do this, even though this is optional. <laughs> Dang it. I don't know, maybe maybe that's what I came up with, but R1 would be right to bugs or right to the other character. The word right, R1 right. But you could go the other way with L1, right to them, you know. I don't remember what I came up with. <laughs> Pretty bad when you have to come up with a... Uh, Something catchy to remember the controls. The game's kind of laggy here. Ouch! 
Right. Couldn't tell you why. a new trick to teach you, Taz. It's a special move called pull the face. With this action, you can frighten specific kinds of characters. If you use pull the face near them, certain characters retreat and do not attack. But after a while, they'll come back. It's an easy way to neutralize them temporarily. Hey, thanks, Taz, old buddy. You blocked me. You blocked that bad old Viking guy from hitting me. Break a chest. Well, sometimes people open them, but you know what? That's kind of obvious. Having Granny come in and explain stuff to us is really not that bad in this game. Because it's usually stuff you don't know yet. I just say I haven't I don't really remember this place because it's been so long, but uh I just like the vibe of it, you know, it just Oh yeah, I could I could go with right back at you, you know, like the Kirby cartoon. That's a good mnemonic. I could even call that in the if the game wanted to, it could even call it. Guys have really long fingers or hands. That looks to be one gigantic finger. The Vikings aren't the smallest of people, I, I suppose. To teach you bugs. I'm ready, Granny. This is a special move called the Super Roll. With this action, you can go through little holes and you can also eliminate many adversaries at the same time. Try it now to recover this gear. I don't see why they want me to control the, the dialogue manually. Because by the time I am able to go back or, you know, sometimes it'll get cut off or something. It's like, it would make sense if I could 
accept that I've read everything. But, you know, it's just kind of weird. Right back at you, bugs. I believe that's a bulldog that's snoring. If memory... Nope. No bulldog this time. He's just gonna smash us with his hammer. Physics on that is really kind of awkward. But it makes sense. I mean, Bugs... Bugs has actually done that before and uh, lost in time. I believe he was running forward and he dives. Just makes a lot of sense. Although, uh, in games like Jack and Daxter, you'd have it animate a little differently. Like at a different angle like a diving head for a sleep or something. Trying to explain away cartoons. Snowball fight. I think we'll just go up here because we haven't we haven't got everything up here yet. Does that go anywhere? Oh, hockey game. Gotcha! I guess we're playing hockey. There's from Tell me the... I'm sure these rules are long and far. They go... I'm sure there's a lot of rules in hockey. Those are pretty simple rules. It's not funny anymore. We just started, Bugs. Also, Pokeball in the middle. Poke Pokeball? Even more fitting this time because we're actually playing hockey. There are no skill points in this game. I said before, skill points would be great. They don't have the the audacity to include skill hey. points when when the Somniac was known for doing that. It's like that's stealing something basically. It's like that was their idea. It's not funny anymore. Actually, that's kind of that's kind of wrong because then they used it. We basically did trophies with PS3 and stuff. Achievements. Same thing, basically. Hey. A lot harder this time to... It's not Pelota. Hey. Hey. You could do this two-player, I believe. I didn't think hey. I... You can do that, like these guys. They're, they're on the other team. But we could team up if we had another. Cool. I would call that a foul move right there. Personally. Heroes, huh? Are we really heroes, though? It's not yeah. funny anymore. Yeah, no, we're we're doing pretty terrible here. Uh, we did find out though if you finish a mission after you get all the gears out of them, cool. you'll be able to get a extra life or a uh, whatever they're called up one up. Try. They're called try. <laughs> Ice cream cake. Get it? Ice. Frozen, frozen cake. Frozen cake. K 
carrot carrot cake for bugs though. Have, have, has anyone ever heard of carrot flavored ice cream? And would that be any good? Is that a thing? Congratulations. <laughs> that guy's that guy's joining the team basically. That uh, Hispanic dude. Nope. Although I'm sure you guys would have loved to see Taz play, but fine. I'll show him for like five seconds. Gotcha! Number 21. Your numbers... I can't help but notice your numbers are actually floating off your shirt there for a second. Do you want to try again? This is unfair. Why do I not get the fuck? You know, guys, I really don't know anything about hockey. I know stuff about tennis. I know stuff about volleyball, baseball, golf. Hockey is foreign to me. I guess that makes sense, though, because it's mainly a Canadian thing. <laughs> nice jump. That jump would come quite in hand handy when you, you would actually do it, Taz. This one uh, mini game down. Go up here, I guess. It's its closest. Listen carefully, the gear you want to reach is on the other side of the frozen lake. Find a way to cross that lake and the reward will be yours. But remember, you'll have to get rid of those goons first. Paraphrasing. That's what that's called. Otherwise, being ignorant and not listening to actually what they had to say, but just like trying to remember. Hey, doofus. No, I shot him in the back. That should have hit him. Now, a normal game would have a counter here to show me how many enemies there are, but this game's not a normal game, is it? I guess I did that so it wouldn't be so, uh... You'd be more clueless on where to go, like adventure -y, you know, like it's more of an adventure game in that case. You don't have to have the game tell you what to do, I guess. That worked. Plus gamey, as you might say sometimes. I think Taz just eats the snowball. Yep, don't do that too much. I've heard bad things when you eat snow. Hey, that's actually a good reason you laughed at me. I missed.
Hey, dude, you're gonna fall off. This is not fair. You hit me in the back. <laughs> These kind of enemies are just detestable. Which is pretty much the entire cast of enemies. Or at least half of them. The rest of it's monkeys and tribesmen. Leaves their, they leave their helmet behind. Those cannot be broken. I don't know why, why you can tell that. I mean, it's not clearly me. It's, you guys probably know that too. These are not breakable. Call it intuition, if you will. I believe the hat actually stays around long after they leave. Actually, seen someone let's play this game with two players. Unfortunate, with the invention of YouTube, you'd think that would exist. Mm. Okay, wrong leg. This is clearly the wise, the wise choice up here. Wise choice or wise ass? I'm not entirely sure. Ouch. Ouch. Yes, that does not work. We've already found this out. You want to dodge him like a real game. What are you drinking? What was that? Trying to sneeze? I suppose if you did sneeze, you'd probably fall off of there. The low polygon count, I couldn't tell unless unless you were having a close-up shot, if you were trying to sneeze, really. <laughs> Laugh at me all you want. Yeah, he's trying to sneeze. I mean, it does look like he's trying to drink something, but he doesn't have a bottle. Just in case, I'm just curious. Okay, yes. These ice blocks have a purpose here. They're they're gonna create a... Uh, that's the whole point of this, I mean. I don't know why I didn't... I did paraphrase him after all. That means I wasn't paying attention. See? See? That's what I'm talking about. I did not pay attention to Tweety. Did I say him? Is Tweety a him or a her? I don't know. I'm gonna assume girl. This is a lot like the uh, baboon minigame, monkey minigame, but not baboons, clearly. They're, mo they're more like monkeys, they're not apes either. Give it a rest, Andy. People don't... That reference is dead. It's dead. All the guys are dead, too. Speaking of dead... There's one more. Yeah, it's up here. Taz? Oh, I already went up here. I actually just saved my butt. I saved my time and my butt. 
Well. Could I throw bugs? Because <laughs> I'm not finding another ice block. I'm sure it's probably up here then. Oh, okay. We probably need to throw bugs. Okay. How did I miss this one? Yeah, it's because there's two of these elevated points that they were staying on. I'm not going to find out what happens if you lose the ice block after you drown. Okay, now we use bugs, probably. I don't think so. <laughs> it's okay, Bugs. I'll be back. You won't die out here. He possibly will die out here. Just saying. Everything is blue. That's how you know it's cold. Everything in this environment is cold, you know? It's really cold. You may possibly die. You'll turn blue, and then you'll die. You almost died there. <laughs> Does that kill them or lose health? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, evidently it does that instead. I got a gimme there. It, the game was like, the game was like, you know what? You need to, you need to not die here because we're nice to you for once. I can't. I, I don't believe I've ever seen anyone glitch a game like that. Glitch this game like that. I know there's a. Uh, I think this is the right game, where I saw someone do a, a glitch, where they could elevate. Uh, uh, whoa. Speaking of glitches, I got spazzing. Okay, now I, I obviously ignored these statues for whatever reason. do that now. This is how you get the first boss token. I actually don't know what to do with these, though. Hmm. You want to help me push this statue, huh? <laughs> Makes me wonder how many carrots he would have dropped if I kept on hitting him and then jumped on him. Got carrots for days over here. Evidently. No, I don't want to play hockey. I don't know if that was this game where you could actually... I was talking about the glitch. Uh, I think there might be a glitch where you can just infinitely. I think I was mi I was actually thinking of Monsters Inc., the Monsters Inc. video game, where you could do. I don't think you could do it in this one. Okay, what's this one? I think this is okay. Ice skating challenge. I want to do the statues, uh, and then we'll go on to the other levels. I think. I did, I did look ahead at the levels. You can actually do that. There's always... I don't know about side areas. These are main levels. We haven't been in any of those yet. I don't know if there's always the same amount of mini-games. I think there's more in this level. I think there's quite a bit more. Because we've only done, like, gee... Probably a quarter of them. We've only done two. We've done the hockey and the snowball fight. I'm going to leave it up to you guys to count how many there actually are. Up the uh, mountain over there is... Uh, the mountain pass to the Moon Valley. It's like a fantasy thing. It's like 
First, you must go through the mountain pass to the Moon Valley. Then you will find a shrine of the Silver Monkey or whatever. There's actually no monkeys in the Viking era, so I don't know why we'd find that. You're bothering me, son. Seriously, it'd probably hurt us if I tried to... I'm still getting it wrong. I think that needs to just be on the uh, screen at all times. I like the non-interface look of this game. There's no sort of visual interface on the screen. These terms I'm using. Uh, don't know. There's the boss level, by the way. I'd, I'd be curious to see if the beta testers had problems with the but the buttons, you know? I still don't know what the order of this is going to be. How do we need to do this here? First thought would be that you need to face them all the way at each other. But I'm not entirely sure if that's correct. Yes, you could just cr save some time. I don't know if it would be saving you any time, but you could just go over here this way. I should have just done this when I was wandering about. And I still have to do it anyway to get bugs out of there. Oh, it makes a click sound. I thought this was actually going to be hard. <laughs> Seems like I fixed the lagging issue. I think I had V-Sync set on. Particular video plugin that actually does have V-Sync to the, the simulator, so. That's just great. That obelisk almost hurt you. It did hurt you. It keeps on hurting you, man. Why do you let these things happen to you, Taz? <laughs> Says any... Said any lo ever, ever Looney Tunes character. Ever. Said any Looney Tunes character ever. There's another minigame. Let really push this one. I'm getting lost here. Yes. Push that one. There must be one up here then. And there's an elephant challenge. I don't know where that one's at. Uh, the elephant challenge is sort of interesting actually. I don't really remember the specifics. I know that was actually one area I went to when we did the game originally. Okay, there was a hint. That's what that cave's for. It looks a lot like the boss door, but it isn't. This one? Okay, yeah, we haven't done this one yet. There. Pretty non-celebratory -cel there, but should open now. Oh. Darn you, you non-opening door, you. Oh. No, I just went around in circles. Clearly I must be missing one. I bet there's one on top of the hilltop. Shan't we go there next, guys? Shan't we? 
We shan't. Is that shouldn't or should? I can't remember. Yes, I, I've learned old English pretty well. Yep, there's one up here. There's actually five then. But we have to go downhill to get the token, so I don't see why we're gonna go here next. We might go here next. In the next part, we might. Buzzed me. I don't know what that meant. Bugs. Shield race. I believe that was an air level. You could tell that's that's definitely derived from the Spiral games because Select does the same thing it would in that game. In those games, games. God. We don't have that ability yet. Frankly, I don't know when we get it. I may have passed it up, possibly. Elmer Trollinson. <gasps> or a better role, uh, a, a reference and joke is Trollkin. It's like a token, but it's a troll, but Tolkien, because the Viking thing. Tolkien. Trollkin. That was like a. Th Three-way joke. You guys appreciate that, okay? Uh, we'll go to the shield race next, because it's kind of a mini-game, but it kind of isn't. Uh, but Moon Valley's next, so we won't go there. I'm, p I'm toying with your emotions here. I don't know why the shield race is... Oh. don't know what their scheme is for developing this game. I don't, the shield race isn't really a, a separate level like the Moon Valley is. Kind of more of a mini game, but that was your shield race on top of the hill. Moon Valley's over here. There's another pillar. So alternatively, I think you could just keep on spinning like that, and you might get away with it. Like I just did there, you can back there with the pillar. You can break it and one go. Up here are some more mini games. Snowball fight we already did. And actually that's not a separate area. It falls down in here. Oh, the cave. Okay, so the cave and that little hole over there in the building. Is that the Moon Valley over there? I think it is. elephant minigame is. Where's the elephant, man? How could I possibly miss an elephant? Oh, it's over here, isn't it? Yeah, we have like two... It's, it's kind of like in a, in a Spiral game, this wouldn't be an entrance to anything. It'd just be kind of like a separate alcove of sorts. Saving the Druid, I think that's the right level. We'll go there next. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. See ya. See ya. Are you a Druid?
A druid's also kind of like a Tolkien thing, isn't it? Tolkien? Never seen those movies or books. I haven't seen the book, no. Either, either read or seen. Technically, reading the book is also seeing it. 